Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with another video. Now today I'm actually going to go over an investing type of video and it's all about Disney. In this video, I'm going to kind of go over why I believe and the reasons why I believe Disney is going to be the next $1 trillion company. All right. Now, a lot of it has to do with uh, yesterday's Investors Day. Uh, they announced their pretty much their overall strategy of growth and and what they're looking to, to accomplish in terms of content regarding Marvel, Marvel, Star Wars, et cetera. There's just so much content, it's insane. And also about their subscription growth. They increase their guidance, and I'm gonna talk about more of that in detail. Um, and overall, the chart, how investors reacted, because that's really what matters. You could have the best news, but if investors don't care, then it really doesn't matter. But there was huge volume in Disney stock today, and I'm gonna show you guys that. There was a relative volume of nine times, or pretty much nine times the average volume uh, was pretty much traded today, uh, and the stock was over 10%. So that is huge. That's very, very bullish. Um, and, and this is besides, all, of course, uh, all the analyst app upgrades that I'm going to go over as well. Uh, so hey, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Now, I want to quickly mention, guys, <clears throat> I'm not a financial advisor. So uh, again, this is for entertainment, entertainment and learning purposes. All right, guys? Uh, so uh, let me get started and let me uh, share my screen. All right, let's go. All right, so there you go. So <clears throat> what do I like about Disney? Uh, so just first of all, I want to show you how the market reacted. Uh, this is pretty much Disney today. Up over 13% up um, with insane amount of volume. I uh, believe 87 million shares were traded today. The biggest amount of volume uh, ever in the last, you could say almost, yeah, two years. The biggest uh, day volume in the last two years. And the last time we had it seen this type of volume was actually on the day uh, Disney Plus went live, which was actually November 12, 2019. And I believe that day they, they uh, announced that they had 10 million subscribers in one day. Uh, which is pretty insane. And now they're looking at over 80, 80 something million subscribers with huge potential of more. Um, so the investors are liking the news. And uh, again, a lot of it had to do with yesterday's uh, Walt Disney's uh, Investors Day. Now I'm going to show you guys some stuff uh, and why that is so important. So yesterday uh, there was this presentation, which I highly recommend you guys to watch it especially if you are a Marvel fan and a Star Wars fan, because it kind of goes over all the content they're, they're planning to create in the next uh, couple of years. Um, so, it, you know, you go to the Walt Disney Company Investor Relations Investor Presentation, and you're going to be able to see the video. Uh, this was shown live uh, yesterday. So highly, highly recommend you to get a chance to watch this video. It is three hours long, so you don't have to watch the whole thing, but definitely recommend you to see it. It's, it's amazing type of information. Um, now there is uh, some, uh, there is like a, a slide that I actually did download really quickly, kind of goes over the, the, uh, the presentation in more detail. So I kind of want to go over that really quickly. So there's going to be, uh, well, before I kind of go over all the series that they're, they're planning to create, overall, strategy wise, the reason why so much money was invested today in Disney is because Walt Disney uh, has surpassed 137 million subscribers across direct to consumer services. So across all the platforms, we're talking about ESPN Plus, ES, uh, Disney Plus, Hulu, etc. They have over 137 million paid subscribers, uh, shattering uh, the previous guidance and increased uh, paid subscribers target. They they target now their their guidance from 300. Uh, to 300 to to uh, 300 to 350 million by 2024. So that is huge, guys. So we're talking of almost like over uh, around three times what they have right now. So, and they guess the question is how they're going to achieve this, you know? Um, and that's where the content comes in. So that's where I want to show you guys. So they are planning to have a uh, 10 uh, Marvel series. Uh, so. That's a lot. A 10 Star Wars series, uh, uh, 15 Disney and Pixar, Pixar series, um, and 15 features for Disney and Pixar. 
Uh, I mean, that includes uh, Star Wars, the Mandalorian, uh, uh, excuse me, the Mandalorian. Uh, the, the, this is a Pixar soul movie. There's a Disney Raya, the last dragon. Um, and, and, and this, is, they're going to actually air this, uh, not only on, on theaters, but also on Disney plus live, uh, where they're going to charge like $30, same thing they did with the, um, the previous, uh, movie. Uh, now let me see. So, so pretty much if you look at the, what they're looking at in terms of uh, guidance, uh, in terms of increased guidance, or actually what they have, what they have right now. So as of December 22, they have 86.8 million Disney plus subscribers. 30.38.8 million Hulu subscribers and 11.5 million ESPN plus subscribers. Um, and uh, so again, 10 million signups in one day on day one, which is November 12th. Uh, and this is the other important part that I want to talk about. And the way I believe uh, Disney, uh, overall, the Disney company is a trillion dollar company. And it's because the international, the international growth they're looking to expand. Um, and we're talking about, of course, the, the North America, we have uh, the US, Canada, and of course, Latin America, where they include Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, and I believe this is Chile, and I'm not exactly, maybe Uruguay, maybe like that, maybe that country, but of course, we got Europe, we got the United Kingdom, uh, and I believe this is Australia, United Kingdom, one of those, uh, actually, I think this is Australia. No, this is United Kingdom, and one of these is Australia. Uh, France, uh, Germany, uh, I believe this is Italy, Spain. No, this is France. Okay, I'm getting all confused. Anyways, they're targeting pretty much Europe, Asia, and your Japan, uh, India. I believe this is India, one of these two, which India has a huge market. So overall, the, in terms of expansion, uh, they're looking to, to make in the next four years uh, is huge, and I think this is definitely going to be a really good investment because of that. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is that I guess you could say is that um, Disney is no longer, in my opinion, a, uh, you could say a, uh, a value type of investment or blue chip type of stock. I actually now consider it more of a growth stock, a growth company. Um, because of now how they look now that their direct to consumer uh, media empire is now going to be their main source of income, and now they're growing that and they're expanding that. That's the reason why I consider that as a growth company. Not only that, but also why they also the reason also because they ended their dividends. Now they have ended their dividends the last two dividends, the last because they, they give a dividend every six months and they have ended it. Now that may continue and a lot had to do by one of the active investors. Now I wanna talk about that and show you guys. So let me share my screen again. So um, activist investor Loeb, Dan Loeb urged Disney to permanently suspend his dividend and boost content production for streaming services Disney Plus. And that was actually uh, published on October 7th, 2020. So Disney, of course, they had a reply because uh, 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 Dan Lowe is a huge investor in, uh, in Disney, the, the third point uh, investment firm called Third Point. They own a huge stake in Disney. Of course, they're going to have a say in it, uh, especially since they own a whole bunch. So, of course, Disney came back and they said, you know, Disney, you know, on November 12th, they announced, yes, we're going to go forego another dividend. And I believe they're going to continue to do that. And the reason why is they're reinvesting that money in content production. They're going to start producing more content. And again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, all this content, you know, uh, of especially the, uh, the, all these, the, the Disney Pixar features, uh, the, the uh, Marvel 10 series, the Star Wars 10 series, all that kind of stuff. That's all going to come from the, the, the dividend that, that we're going to pay to investors. So that is huge. Um, so you're looking at uh, the market cap. The next thing I want to look at is the market cap. What is, what is Disney's current market cap and why that is important? So that's, that's what I'm, the next thing I want to talk about and show you guys. So right now, as it is, uh, Disney is trade is, is trading at, uh, what is it? Uh, $175 per share at around 316 billion market cap. And again, and this is based on a 137 million subscriber 
paid subscribers. So if you think about that, if you do some quick math, uh, 350, let's, let's do the, the higher end, 350 uh, divided by 137. So we're looking at 2.5 or 2.6 times uh, current uh, paid subscriber by 2024. So uh, let's just do some quick math. Again, I'm just, just seeing how the stock market may react. If, if, if right now those, the market values Disney as a $316 billion company based on today's current subscribers, um, what, would it, what would the market value it once it does hit those numbers, once it does hit 350 million subscribers? So that means we're looking at a 2.5 evaluation on market capitalization. So let's see. So look at 316 times 2.55. So we're looking at $803 billion. So the question is, where is the other $200 billion may come from? I really believe the extra uh, growth will also be based on inflation, um, you know, and also based on uh, what's gonna happen once the market opens in terms of uh, once the COVID uh, vaccine starts working and not only are they gonna be able to grow on this, the Disney Plus, but also now they're gonna also have revenue coming from like uh, the parks, the parks like uh, Disneyland and Disney World and also the park they have in China, et cetera. So I really think overall, you know, looking at the next uh, three to five years, uh, because of this, uh, Disney is definitely going to be, I, my personal belief, a tr is worth a trillion dollar company. So what do I think? Though, now, the other things that I like about Disney is actually um, that I really like that I think is very, very bullish is also the, the analyst upgrades. So that's also very, very important. Uh, let me show you those analyst upgrades. So it was actually upgraded by several, an several analysts. Um, they're actually, they're actually tier one banks that are very, very important. So here it is Barclays, uh, uh, uh pretty much upgraded, um, uh, Disney to 185 from 150, uh, Goldman Sachs tier one, which is the most bullish right now, as far, so far upgraded, uh, Disney to a 200, uh, price target, uh, JP Morgan Chase, up, uh, uh, let's say, upgraded to 175 price target, loop capital to 190. So pretty much all these upgrades are very bullish. Now, if you look at the chart right now, Disney is trading at 175. So this is uh, right now uh, the price target that Goldman Sachs uh, gives it. Now this is a short term price target. I really believe in the next three to five years, uh, is going to surpass those 200 level. You know, if you were to put a, uh, in terms of the price target of a trillion dollar, you know, how much would it be? Uh, I mean, that's doing some very simple math. So right now, uh, you know, so based on a trillion dollar market cap, you know, of course I have to divide, let's see, a thousand divided by 316. So, will be three times what is worth right now. So looking at, uh, you know, right now, uh, let's see, looking at the current price. So 175 times three times what is worth right now. So we're looking at a $525 price target in the next three to five years. Again, those are my bullish predictions. Um, you know, that may happen, may not happen, guys. But again, I think in the next three to five years, uh, Disney could be worth $500 a share or, or over $500 a share, especially if it's going to hit the trillion dollar mark. Uh, and again, that, those are my personal beliefs. So Overall, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I gave my reasons why I believe this is a uh, trillion dollar company. Again, I am not a financial advisor. Uh, this video is for entertainment and learning purposes. Uh, so definitely talk to your financial advisor. These are my personal beliefs. I am invested in Disney and I am definitely gonna hold for the long term because uh, I do believe 
over the next three to five years, uh, I think Disney will hit the $1 trillion market capitalization. So don't forget to smash that like button if you learn something from this video and subscribe to the channel. You guys will hear from me soon. Have a good one, guys. Take care.